Hello, everyone. Our service will begin in just a moment. This is our first time using our new multi-platform system, Yay! and we're very excited about it. We had a rehearsal yesterday that went smashingly well, and um, it's wonderful but complicated. So we know you'll be compassionate with our imperfection as we learn how to use it. Now, I do have a Westwood announcement, and that is that Harmonia, our choir is starting up on Tuesday. We've changed our time to 6.30 to 8.30. And um, I wanted to let everyone know there's no audition to be in the choir. You just need to want to come and sing. And um, if, you're, if you don't feel like you want to be singing in public, but just want to sing with us on Tuesdays, that is absolutely fine. If you just want a place to sing, um, come on Tuesdays, and those of us who enjoy it will be here on Sundays uh, once a month to sing with Harmonia. All right, so we're going to start our service with the chimes, and Sheila will be playing a prelude for us. Good morning. Uh, my name is Brenda Niska Arrow, and it's so nice to see everyone here. And um, we're pleased that uh, you've taken your choices to put on your mask. And those on Zoom can keep your screen muted. And we'll join together for our first song. It's number 361, Enter, Rejoice, and Come In played by Sheila Killoran.
<laughs> okay, so we have our land recognition. As we be begin, we wish to acknowledge that the land on which we gather is Treaty 6 territory and our trad traditional meeting ground and home for many Indigenous peoples, including Cree, Sotu, Blackfoot, Métis, and Nakota Sioux. As people who are a part of Treaty 6, we commit ourselves to the creation of an equitable, just, and compassionate relationship throughout our shared territory. Good morning, everybody. I'm Susan Anderson, and I'm your Westwood past president. And I'm part of the incoming board leadership that will be your service leaders this morning, along with our new lay chaplain. We are so excited to be here this morning for our first ever hybrid service. A big thank you to Lorian for making this happen. She was the big shaker and mover behind this. And also a big thank you to our techies this morning, our Bill Lee, Elaine Young, Jung, and her daughter, Hannah. So um, you'll meet all the board members and our new lay chaplain in a moment. Um, but I do want to say that this is also our in-gathering service and our water communion, and we very much look forward to hearing stories of your experience of water this summer. Our musician, thank you very much, is Sheila Kaloran. And uh, um, for those of you who are at home, if you have uh, a candle you'd like to light for the candle lighting, and some water for the water ritual. Um, now is a time to get that together. Thank you and welcome. And our chalice lighting. Oh yes, and now we'll have our chalice lighting. Alfred, would you be willing and able to do the chalice lighting? Oh. Hi. Okay. It goes on to the next page. It would be nice if I'd been born. Oh, you don't need a reading? No, I can read. Okay, you only need the mic still. Ah, yes. Yeah. Oh, and the mic is right here. Perhaps I can. We learned yesterday that the piano is awfully quiet. How about if I hold it? Sure, and I'll hold it for you. Okay. <laughs> Don't leave your broken heart at the door. Bring it to the altar of life. Don't leave your anger behind. It has high standards. And the world needs vision. Bring them with you and your joy and your passion. Bring your loving and your courage and your conviction. Bring your need for healing and your power to heal. There is work to do, and you have all that you need. And now it is time for our ceremony to install our new lay chaplain. So I am Maggie Davidson. I am the vice president of the board. And I am here to install our new lay chaplain. Today we are having a special ceremony to install Heather McLean Smith as our lay chaplain. A lay chaplain conducts rites of passage, child dedications, weddings, memorial services or funerals, house blessings, and other services that reflect the diversity of our community dreams and values. Will the members of the lay chaplaincy committee and our current lay chaplain please rise. Lorian Kennedy and Lee Bourne provide support, guidance, and direction to our lay chaplain with additional assistance from Reverend Rosemary Morrison. 
We thank you for your service. Lay Chaplaincy is a program of the Canadian Unitarian Council which began in the 1970s. It grew out of the need of people in congregations without professional ministry who wanted Unitarian services to mark the important milestones in their lives. A congregation appoints a member to be a lay chaplain. The CUC approves the appointment and applies to the provincial government for a license to perform marriages. A person does not need a license to perform other rites of passage. The CUC requires the lay chaplain to undertake training, which Heather completed in Edmonton prior to her appointment. Her license to perform marriages will be posted in the church as required by Alberta law. Today, we are delighted to be having this celebration to mark her appointment. <laughs> will the members and friends of the congregation please rise in body or spirit and say with me the words in the order of service and on the slides for you at home. We're not at the beginning. Okay. We have used due process to appoint you as lay chaplain for this congregation. We pledge to assist you in your duties, both when you initiate and when you ask. We will console you when you lose mistakes and share in your successes. We will give you feedback. We will respect your contract with the congregation, including the freedom to make a choice dictated by your conscience, whether or not to officiate at particular ceremonies. We will walk with you as you can undertake the role of lay chaplain. I kind of feel like I've been preparing for this moment since I stepped through the doors of Westwood in two, two, sorry, 1999. Okay, so here's the actual words I prepared. <laughs> Although I might be one of the youngest members of this beloved congregation, I believe that I'm one of the only ones here in this room that can say that I've spent more than half of my life at Westwood. I joke that I'm a church nerd for life, and it's more than just a little bit true, and I've written up a little nerdy resume to read to you. <laughs> My family first stepped through the doors of this church in the fall of 1999, probably on a Sunday such as today. I was a month away from my 13th birthday. My mother and I got quickly swept up by Westwood's arms after my late mother separated from my father. As a youth, I became active within the youth group, rallying Lee Bourne and my mother, Sheila McLean, to spearhead the program. And I was active until 2005 when I was 17 and moved away to BC. I returned again to Westwood in 2012, this time as adults, and once again got swept up by the Westwood community. I primarily became involved with the children's and youth programming, working closely with Reverend Ann Barker and Alara over the span of about four years. My involvement with the children's program and youth programs was, was a way to reconnect with my younger self in a way that I wasn't aware of needing. In 2015, I joined the worship committee while maintaining my involvement with the youth programming. In 2019, I became more active with the youth on a national level, being the Canoodle Coordinator for the National Youth Program for the CUC National Youth. <laughs> and then I shifted, because I only have so much volunteer time in my bank, I shifted my focus at Westwood to primarily volunteer my time and efforts on the worship committee. During the early days of the pandemic, worship had weekly meetings to discuss and firefight our way online. 
I am so unbelievably proud of the work the worship committee and the board of trustees have done since the March of 2020. We have navigated uncharted territories and waters together, and although it hasn't always been pretty and far from easy, we have made it through to see today. I commend our collective brave hearts as we embark on the challenge of hybrid model and lay ministry. As your new lay chaplain, I've spent my entire UU life in a youth and young adult context. So what does that really mean? Youth and young adults are trademarked for their passionate style, interactive and multi-generational services, and are known for doing things just a little bit differently, for a faith tradition that already does things a little bit differently. We are here to break the molds. I believe I bring to the role of lay chaplain a balance of youthful energy and maturity. I've seen the miracle that is life being born, experienced a kiss that sealed my marriage, and witnessed the passage of death and dying. To my new role, I bring a kind and determined heart. From the bottom of my heart to yours, thank you for bestowing me with this stupendous opportunity. Thank you. Lay chaplain is a position of trust where you serve as an ambassador for our faith and for this religious community. It also brings rich opportunities for personal spiritual growth. On behalf of the members of the Westwood Unitarian Congregation, I install you, Heather McLean Smith, as our lay chaplain. This stole is the symbol of the office of lay chaplain. We entrust it to your care for the term that you serve in this position. Wear it with pride. Let it be a reminder of our support and love, that our support and our love are with you. It is with joy that this congregation affirms and recognizes you as our lay chaplain. May your experience as lay chaplain add richness, richness to your life and ours, and may you in turn enrich the lives of those you serve as lay chaplain. Continue to carry with you the sense of wonder for the mysteries of life and remember that we support you all the way. place no I'm at the right place okay <sighs> no seriously when I was a kid um, an old member Mitch Walden was the lay chaplain at Westwood and I sat in where you guys are and I looked at the stage and I said I want to do that one day <laughs> so it's just it's incredible to be doing it today okay as my first act as Westwood's lay chaplain, I'm honored to lead the installation of our new robust board of trustees. This marks a tradition in the life of a community. Members accept a position on the board of trustees because they care deeply about the church and are able at this time in their lives to contribute sustainable, substantial and hopefully sustainable amounts of time and effort to see that the congregation grows and thrives. We honor those who have served as well in the past year, and we acknowledge the transfer of power and the responsibility to those who carry on. Will all board members present today join me on the stage so I can introduce you? And the board members on Zoom, you're not getting out of it. You have to return to your screens, maybe even turn on your camera so I can introduce you too. Okay, I'm going to do the people on the stage first. 
to my left, we have Maggie Davison acting as vice president. Then we have Rebecca Patterson acting as, that's the part I need to look up, not the names, just the roles, trustee. Then we've got Jacqueline Willette acting as trustee. Then we have Brenda Niska Arrow acting as secretary. Susan Anderson acting as past president and Alpha Frock acting as treasurer. Now on the Zoom land, we have our awesome president. Wave Lorian, you're in the hot row, great. <laughs> then we've got, who else am I missing? Virginia Galise, maybe she's here. And am I missing anybody else? I think that's everybody. Oh no, Carl Ulrich as a trustee. Is I'm Carl? He's away. He's away, okay. Yeah. Awesome, thank you Zoom people. <laughs> okay, here, back to Westwood. We have been elect, you have been, you are a lovely new board. You have been elected by the members of this church, Westwood Unitarian Society, at our annual general meeting held last May on Zoom. Our new board, do you freely arrive before us today, willing to commit yourself to these roles of both honor and accountability? Yes. yes. Well, we welcome this year's board. We also take time to give thanks to one board member leaving, special board member, Brenda Jackson, who's on Zoom with us this morning. Brenda Jackson, I would like to thank you for the care and hard work you've offered this community. We appreciate your efforts, the decisions you have made, and the wisdom you have shown on behalf of all of us. Because of your hard work and your generosity, Westwood continues to be a strong and vital community. Thank you so much for your time and dedication over many, many years. Our retiring board members and all leaders who have served the past board in the past Please stand in person or maybe raise your hand on Zoom. We're going to hear from Brenda Jackson on Zoom. Take it away, Brenda. We wish the new board well as you take on the torch of responsibility and the task of guiding this church through the next year. To you, we entrust the results of our time and energy these past years and leave you with our support and good intentions. The job is now yours to do, but we will help as we can when the need arises. Thank you, Brenda. Isn't that cool? This is true hybrid model. <laughs> uh, this, the magic is just amazing. All right, if you are a member of the congregation, you are encouraged to read the members portion that will be written on the screen here in a minute. Leroy will read the words for the Zoom people, and I'm going to find my place here. Okay, uh, okay, Leroy will read the action of installation. Because in Unitarian Universalist congregations, the authority to elect your leaders belongs within the membership. That's you guys, you in the pews. Lou Roy, please join the congregation part. We call on you, whom we have elected, to care for this church community, and we pledge to you our support. We install you as our leaders and give you the power to make decisions on behalf of this community. We ask you to use your wisdom, your abilities, and your understanding of our religious principles to guide our decision making. We remind, remind you to keep us informed and to consult with us and to call on us as you see fit. Thank you for undertaking this work for our community. Yay. Now we're going to shuffle back to Zoom land, and I call on Lorian Kennedy, who's on Zoom this morning. She's acting this year as our board president. 
and sorry, Lorian Kennedy, your board president, and the board members sitting here will read the part on the screen. With gratitude and a sense of responsibility, we accept the faith that you have placed in us and pledge to carry out our duties to the best of our abilities. We shall honor the traditions which have made this place strong while remaining open to new solutions and opportunities. Thank you, everyone. The torch has been passed. Brenda, you may now accept our, our appreciation for your work well done. For you, continuing or beginning a new board role, we hope that your time in office brings you a sense of accomplishment and fulfillment. May this year bless all of us at Westwood as we move forward together in shared ministry. Thank you. I feel like singing. All right, Zoom land, make sure that your mics are muted so then there's no terrible sound issues. And for us here, please keep our masks on and please rise in body or in spirit for hymn number 100. I've got peace like a river and we're going to sing verse one, two, three, and five. Remember this part of the service for water communion where we bring our water on a Sunday morning, usually the first Sunday in September. Maybe you brought some. Maybe you're like me and you forgot. If anybody forgot, I have some. And I'm going to take my mask off. Then you can hear me better. So with true hybrid model, we thought about how to include the people on Zoom. And this is how we're going to try it for this year. And if we don't like it, we can change our mind next year. We are going to do the in-person people first. You're gonna line up kind of along the sides. Worked better when we didn't have to social distance, but that's all right, we'll make do. So we'll line up here. You're gonna come up to the mic or you're gonna stay in silence and express in your heart, pour your water into the bowl or share a story about what the water means to you. So this is your opportunity for sharing your summer and your joys and concerns. As you come to the front, you pour the water into the bowl. If you are joining us on, on Zoom, you'll raise your hand and our tech support will make a list and we'll get to you after. These are things to contemplate. What brings you strength and what refreshes you? What offers comfort 
what nourishes and nurtures you. We will not be recording this part of the service. Come on up. Imagine, if you will, that all of our sustaining waters are blended in this bowl, spoken aloud or within our hearts. Whether it is the water we drink to stay alive, the water that feeds our food and our planet, the water we swim in or rest beside, whatever image you hold, Imagine the essence of all of these beautiful images gathered here in this one place. Please join me for, sorry, please join me in the spirit of honoring and blessing our water. Can you see it if I stand here? Yeah, okay. All water is holy water. From the sky to from the sea, it is not holy because we pray over it. It is not holy because we gather it in a church. It is holy because it is the stuff of life, returning and cycling through the planet and the animals, oceans and the streams, cells and seeds, again and again and again. Amen and blessed be. While Sheila plays a musical meditation, we invite you to sit in peace and soak in the experience of being together, either here in the building or in spirit.
Each person's contributions of time, talent, and resources help to sustain this community. We're grateful that you are here and for all that you are able to do to support Westwood. These, this slideshow, pardon me, this slide shows ways to donate to Westwood. So please join Sheila now in singing our offertory song. Sheila will play one verse without lyrics and then we will join her to sing it twice. For those of you at home, if you have a candle or chalice burning, now is the time to bring it forward. Lorian Kennedy will give the benediction. Our time together is finished, but our work is not yet done. May our spirits be renewed and our purpose resolved as we meet the challenges of the week to come. The chalice flame is extinguished until once again ignited by the strength of our communion. Go now in peace. And those are the words from Mary Martha Kirby Capo. I'd like to add a few words of my own, just to say a huge thank you to all the people in this congregation, members and friends, who have just pitched in with enthusiasm and persistence, as we have learned our new tech system, we're still learning. We have a few things to figure out yet, but uh, people who are interested in learning can still come along and it'll be a little easier route for them than the people who started out having to solve all the problems. We're a wonderful community. We're moving into a period of transition. We don't quite know what it will look like, but I am excited. I think we have many opportunities to do wonderful things in our community. Thank you. I, I should explain that um, I've been holding the microphone to the piano because yesterday we discovered that the, the piano is very quiet on Zoom. So um, anyone who is on Zoom, maybe you could give us some feedback about that. <laughs> and uh, so now, um, I, oh, I'd like to just also say that after our closing hymn and our postlude from Sheila, thank you, Sheila, um, we're not going to be serving coffee. We're not quite at that point yet in the COVID journey, but we do invite you to uh, follow the signs for your comfort level. And are there signs for your comfort level? Oh, I think you're right. <laughs> Jacqueline will explain. Um, our closing song is Spirit of Life, and we'll sing it twice.
Best music. Yes, this is on. Um, so you got that letter which said that there would be dots on the wall. Well, the dots are sitting beside my printer. <laughs> um, I propose that we use the dots that we've added to our name tags as a guide as we meet with each other and please show respect and concern for whatever color that dot may be. A reminder, green means you're good to go. Yellow means, well, um, you know, a little distance would make you more comfortable. Red means, I'm really glad to see you, but keep your distance, please. And um, I will be guided by your feedback 